This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Hey, life's a risk, carnal. Tell me something, my friend. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? I do a great impression of a hot dog. Billy likes to drink soda. So am I to understand that you men completed your training on your own? That's the fact, Jack! Come on, seriously, who is that? I only came here to do two things, man. Kick some ass and drink some beer. <laughs> Looks like we're almost out of beer. What's up, dorks? What's up, watchers? Uh, this is Lucky the Dork Dad. And with me, as always, is Little Joe. What is up? Today, today, watchers, we are uh, Pedro and the man. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think that's so funny that his character is just named the man. The man. <laughs> Even yeah. in this movie. Well, yeah, it's it's this movie, and I think he he's the man in most of their movies, except for the, the last one they did was that uh, Corsican Brothers, but no one yeah. watched that shit. <laughs> Uh, so what are we talking about? Pedro and the man, we're talking about Cheech and Chong Up in Smoke, we're gonna do Up in Smoke today Uh, That's where my money goes (laughs) Cheech and Chong, um, when did, when did you first get into Cheech and Chong or Look, again, I don't, I'm, I'm, there's probably gonna be a lot of shit that I say, um, this show particular um, and this movie particular, in particular, uh, that's probably wasn't kid-like that I should do. Um, but, uh, hey, look, pause this shit. I just saw a fucking scorpion in my fucking garage. Hey, go ahead, man. I can edit this out. Hey, hold on. Okay, watchers, I didn't get it. <laughs> hey, that comes with new houses, man. Yeah. So if during the show you hear me scream, then you know what it was. Well, you got to put something else besides the chanclas you got. Oh, I don't. <laughs> now I'm barefooted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My Crocs ain't going to save me. I remember uh, the house uh, before this. It was, it was a new build also. And was, uh, mm-hmm. we found a scorpion in my bed, like in the middle of the night. Got, oh. got me in the leg. I was like, oh, shit. Oh shit! It, it it actually stung you. Yeah, but it was it was those little baby ones, you know. Okay, yeah. These are fucking small, and um, I I've killed one in the house, and I had recently had my my uh, garage sprayed, but what do you know? It's fucking scorpion. Yeah. Oh well, I'll be alright. <sighs> Hopefully. And we're back. And we're back. Um, okay. Um, sorry. Sorry, watchers. But, um, yeah, there's, I, I got into Cheech and Chong at an age that wasn't fucking appropriate at all. Um, as, as a kid, I remember it. Um, you know, I, I, I think I've said it before, but, like, when my mom and dad were together, my dad was, a, was more of a fucking uh, stoner. So of course this was his shit, yeah. and um, uh, I know amongst his uh, VHSs and stuff that he had was fucking was up in smoke. So yeah, man, it it, it played a, a pretty big role in the household, and so much so that um, when I was a kid, like my cousins and I, we would um, you know. We'd be left at home a lot when while my aunts and, and uncles and my mom and dad went out, and um, we'd play games. And I don't know if you remember this game show back in the day, but there was a game called a game show called Make Me Laugh. Make me laugh. It sounds familiar. It it, it would come on around the time and uh, like same channel as uh, like Star Search or something like that. Uh huh. But it was basically a show where you you went on and your your job was to try to make the other contestants laugh and and stuff like that, and we'd play that at my cousin's house. And one of the things that we would do, as you know, our game was uh, we'd do a skit, and the only skit that me and my cousin, at about <laughs> five or uh, six, could pr- 
perfect was the uh, Pedro and the basically Man. Basically, the whole the Pedro and the Man, their first meeting in Up in Smoke. <laughs> the whole Ralph <laughs> thing, Ralph. Yeah, yeah. So we, dude, like even uh, making a mock big joint like they had, you know nice. the. Uh, Ooh, Led Zeppelin and <laughs> stuff like that. So, dude, for the longest time, and um, the longest time, like, I mean, I always had that in my mind. Even, you know, before I went to high school and actually um, started hanging out with stoners and stuff like that, like, this was my shit. Like, I, I knew it as a kid, man. So, yeah, man, I always, like, Tiki Chong was always up there. And uh, especially like when the video stores started coming around, that was always a, a rental of ours. Yeah, for me, uh, I remember watching this movie at my grandparents, believe it or not. I think I mentioned it before. They used to have like this, uh, I forget what it's called. It's like, it's not a laser disc player. It's like a, but it was a video, I think it's called video disc player. Yeah, it was a little different than a than a like laser disc. The movies were in like this, as big as a record, right? But it was a hard case, and like you you slide it in this machine and pull it out, and I guess the disc stayed in there. I don't know, but uh, dude, this is pre laser disc, probably. Yeah, it was cool, but I remember he had like maybe like five movies for this video player. It was Up in Smoke. I think it was uh, one of the Rockies and like a couple others and. Every time I go to my grandparents, like I would, I would put on oh, up in smoke, and I would, I would watch this. But that was, <laughs> that was what I remember watching it first. I remember watching the movie uh, mm-hmm. first. That was my introduction to up in smoke. Well, by the time I got to middle school, high school, uh, my one of my best friends at the time uh, started getting me into uh, the actual comedy records that they they used to do did you ever get into those okay okay well yeah that wasn't until again like i like when i got older like you did like that i um i knew there was something beyond the movies you know that they actually were a stage act and something like and stuff like that um again like i remember their movies you know i think it went up in smoke and then um the next dream Nice and then dreams. nice, nice dreams. Uh, the, and then the um, still smoking, but they had that Corsican brothers in the middle that just kind of threw everybody off. <laughs> I mean, no one got that shit. Yeah, they're like, uh, what is this? Um, <laughs> but uh, like when I went into their history, it made more sense. Um, you know how they started off or or anything like that? Uh, I know a little bit. Um, from what I do know, uh. Cheech, he was, he's from California. He was born in L.A. And um, supposedly he was a real smart kid. But, uh, mm-hmm. you know, just like a lot of people at that time, they're against war and all that stuff. So he ended up in Canada. <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's where he met Chong because Chong is, is Canadian. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Chong was from uh, Vancouver and... He had a, what you call it, he had a, um, I want to say he had a club in Vancouver, and it was actually a strip club. Nice. And they would, they <laughs> yeah, and they would go on, on stage and they do a little bit of a, kind of an intro for some of the people, and um, they'd actually have music groups there as well. And they, so, you know, they play on that. And I guess part of this club is, is, you know, they were doing their, their bit on stage and ended up going so long that they didn't even need the musical act <laughs> nice. to come on because these two uh, guys clicked so well and went so well together. And that's what decided to, to get them to travel back to, to L.A., like you said, uh, Cheech's hometown, and, and get back together. But, man, it, it, it's weird how, like, one dude from, from one place met a dude from another place and they clicked so well. Like, when they started off, you know, you would have thought they were, like, kind of uh, lifelong friends. Right. Um, but they had their little, you know, they had their, their separation. And, and during their separation, you know, she almost kind of became what he's been, um, you know. And, you know, that's us seeing him on different shows. Like, uh, I think he did, uh, what's that show, that Nash Bridges with Don Johnson for the longest right. time. 
And then, you know, um, but his... He started going he, legit, right? Yeah, yeah. But his most famous one for me was right when they broke up um, is when he did East L.A. Oh, yeah. Born um, in East L.A. Yeah. Now, hit the song... It credits Tommy Chong on the song because, you know, they were actually, it came on one of their albums, but Chong didn't have nothing to do with it. And Keith was actually hurt that Chong didn't want nothing to do with it, um, with, with the movie or anything like that. And that's what kind of fueled their breakup for the longest time. Yeah, I think I read that um, Chong was kind of getting a big head over everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like he, he wanted to take control director. of everything. Yeah. And, um, you know, of course, that's it's going to rub people the wrong way. Mm-hmm. But uh, since then, I think it was early two thousands. They kind of got things back together, and I know they did a tour. They did they did a stop here, I think. I think they even recorded a special here. Yeah, they they um they did like a four twenty tour, right? And and I would credit, I mean, not credit this, but I would put it up there with like some of the nostalgia stuff that's come back from the. Uh, late 70s, early 80s that came back, and that was uh, part of their deal. But, you know, fans were always clamoring for it, you know, like... Um, oh, yeah. Because as, you know, kind of... I would say, like, a, a stoner age more came, you know, like, um, you know, Snoop Dogg, stuff like that, you know. A, a lot of the credit went back to Chi Chi Chong, and if you're ever a fan of Korn, Korn, uh, the band... Actually, at the end of their third CD, they had a hidden track, and the hidden track was the song from uh, the end of the, the movie we're Eric about to watch today. Yeah, the Eric My Eye from Up in Smoke. Nice. And they actually had Cheech in studio to sing. Nice. It's fucking badass. Um. But yeah, you know, so Cheech and Chong. When you think of a stoner movie, you think of Cheech and Chong. I think they were groundbreaking at the time. I don't think anybody knew what was going to happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you think of uh, of, of movies nowadays. You got like Harold and Kumar. They're like, oh, they're just doing Cheech and Chong. Or, yeah. Um, you know, uh, Pineapple Express. Or any kind of uh, stoner movie. People say, oh, they're just doing... Ooh. Dogs are barking <laughs> at people. But, uh, yeah, people are just thinking, oh, that's, you're just doing Cheech and Chong bit. But, uh, but yeah, they were, they were um, like I said, they, they set the standard for, uh, for stoner movies. Dude, and, yeah. And, and again, this, this movie started off, I want to say it was just like an indie comedy. And then it ended up making some money, you know. And, um, you know, it, it bankrolled three of the movies, you know, kind of launched them as, as, as stars in their own right, you know. Um, but, yeah, man, it, it's it's a whole subculture out there, you know, the, the Chi Chi Chong fans. And another uh, interesting thing is, like, a lot of this movie was, it was based off a lot of their bits, right, um, mm-hmm. from their different albums. But uh, it, it was a lot of it was just improvised. You know what yeah. I mean? There wasn't really a script. There wasn't really a plot. I mean, this is one of those movies that has no plot, really. I mean, <laughs> these two guys, he picks them up. He's hitchhiking. He picks them up, and he, they're like, oh, let's, uh, well, I'm in a band. Oh, I play drums, and then, well, let's just find some weed, and then that's, that's the movie. <laughs> yeah. It, it Pedro and the man on, and their search, you know, <laughs> make a band and, and fucking get, find some weed. Yeah. And, um, Dude, that's like it, it's the whole deal. Um, you, you think about next movie, it's it's kind of the same thing, you know. They they're getting into shit while looking to get high. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, <laughs> it's just so much funny shit out there with them. But but dude, it was like when when you told me you wanted to make it, wanted to do this one, I was like, oh hell yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, I, I love this movie. I'm ready to get into it, but uh... I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> Oh. The begin the beginning of this movie or the introduction to Chong, yeah. I have to say right now is my favorite part of the movie. <laughs> I don't know why, but this is it has the that's the funniest scene to me. But 
uh, I guess I'm jumping the gun. That's that's my best part. But uh, <laughs> let's let's start this movie. So, All right. those who are li- are listening, first time listeners, uh, our show. We watch movies, we watch TV shows, specials, whatever, and we do like commentary style. We, we're watching the movie, talking to it. Uh, sometimes we're talking about the movie, sometimes not. We go off on tangents, but that's all the fun in it. So if you want to watch with us, we are getting ready to start the movie Up in Smoke, Cheech and Chong, right now. So this beginning, uh, this takes <laughs> me back right here. Right. Um, once you, you, you hear that Looney that Tunes, cup? once you hear that Looney yeah. Tunes music, I was like, man, that was every Saturday morning. You know what I mean? <laughs> All the kids gather around by the TV, got their bowl of cereals out there. You know what I mean? Cause yeah, I remember you know early childhood, especially like this reminded me of like staying at one of my cousin's house and yeah, shit like that. Yeah. Not not necessarily as the grown up, but as the as a kid, and then being like, cause you only had one TV in the house. Right. So everybody's yeah, there. Yeah, everyone had to share it, man. So, you know, if, if you had to crash on the couch, then you had to wake up to everyone fucking in there already. You better you better get your <laughs> ass up. <laughs> and how messed up do you got to be to do this? <laughs> <laughs> you ever been that messed up, man? I've never been that messed up, but I do remember having the hamper in the bathroom all the time. Like that? Yeah. Oh, right my God. From the toilet. Oh, this is the scene. We got uh, <laughs> the man's dad, right? Mm-hmm. He's like, you need to start hanging out with that Finkelstein kid. <laughs> <laughs> the bright kid going to military school? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking love this part. Like, Your son is a retard. And the mom's all nice. I know. It's like, when, boy, when? <laughs> Same good like, up your goddamn muscles. You're like bend and scoop. <laughs> like the Mexicans. <laughs> He's like I know an, I know a guy united fruit. <laughs> like maybe I can get you in. <laughs> uh, like you start with strawberries and work yourself up to these goddamn bananas. <laughs> <laughs> when boy. When <laughs> uh, I'm telling you just fucking burps in him. I laugh so much at this at this part, man. He's like, I think he's the Antichrist. Like, you need to go with the goddamn Finkelstein shit, kid. <laughs> uh, uh, and then he fucking so he takes off, and and I forgot that he took off in a fucking Rolls Royce. It's a bug, but you know I heard, like the front. Yeah. Yeah. I heard this car right here, he's driving, belongs to Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. What the fuck? Look it up. It says the car he drives off is Jack Nich- belongs to Jack Nicholson. I heard too that Jack Nicholson, um, he was part of the uh, one of the first screenings for this movie. Mm-hmm. And at the time, uh, he was in a car accident. And um, they made it seem like he didn't like it because they said he was he was crying the whole movie because he was laughing so much it was making his arm hurt and he broke his arm or something. I was, <laughs> I was wondering like like why why it, like if it if he participated why wouldn't he be in the movie? You could totally see him being fucking like Strawberry or or Sergeant Sadiko. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, and then the classic. Okay, bro. Now tell me. You were in a fucking cut off muscle shirt like like Pedro here. <laughs> uh, fucking Ezekiel Elliott. Dude, that was that was that was the fit back then, man. I'm telling you. And then the fucking song, you know. Da, 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 and when we're talking about uh, yeah. cliche, cliches and stereotypes. Yeah. Seems like every time we see any kind of Mexican or Latino in movies or shows. There's there's this writer. song song somewhere, <laughs> and I'm hey. alright with that. You know why? Because Latinos yeah, yeah, yeah. Latinos don't That's give a fuck. Us. Yeah, and yeah. Lat- we don't get all mad like oh, oh, they're stereotype or whatever. But but we don't. If care. you think about it, 
think about it, look, like, at, around this time, okay, this is 78, right? So things are a little bit more progressive. But um, as far as Latinos in the lead, you know, bro, like, I mean, we still don't see a lot of that shit today. So this is a, a fucking a Chicano, Latino, in the lead role of a movie, you know, yeah. fucking, with you know, the half, it out there. With the half Chinese and half white. Yeah. You know what I mean? Fucking Those two driving a low rider, fucking, <laughs> you know. This what created the fucking, uh, the whole thing of us. And like you said, man, I'm fucking good with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, that's insane, man. Latinos, we don't get mad. We're like, hell yeah. Like, we're proud to see that. <laughs> we, made I it. Mean, we made it on TV. Yeah. We're not going to see it here, but, I mean, you think about this dude's uh, Mexican-American song, you know? Mexican-American. Oh. <laughs> don't like the <to> dude. <laughs> I mean, talk about talking crap about Mexicans, but, I mean, it's the truth. <laughs> yeah. It's the it's truth. We don't like to get up early in the morning. But we have to, so we do it real, real slow. slow. <laughs> <laughs> and there'll people, they'll, they'll people be like, nah, there's people, there, there's there's Mexicans that work hard and get up in the morning and say, yeah, but Mexican-Americans. So <laughs> I'm talking about Mexican-American, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but, you know, the Mexican-Americans have names like Chacho and Chewy. <laughs> 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 You know, my kids, my kids, when they fucking go to their, to my, uh, uh, to their godparents, they're going with their Nino and their Nina. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they go uh, to the grandparents, they're going to Popo and Popo. <laughs> you know, I think this is the oldest movie we've done so far, 1978. Ooh, we're going back. Right? Way back. Back for the beginning of time. Um Man. But this movie's short. It's like eighty something minutes or eighty nine minutes. Um, it, it moves pretty quick. Yeah, I wonder if they cut something out here because we see Chong coming out of the ditch. I want to know what happened. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, uh, you think you think there was a scene in between there? I don't know. I don't know because this starts the movie. You know, with know. Pedro fucking coming out. Because we saw him take off, right? It looks like that car yeah. broke down now, and um, and you know what? You know what's funny is that. I don't remember a lot of cold opens like this in a movie. So we had an opening scene, you know, we had an opening scene and then the credits hit, you know what yeah. I mean? We saw Again, both like, of them. We saw Pedro, yeah. we saw the man, and then we got the opening credits. Yeah. Uh, okay. Like, oh, so this, hubba, bubba. <laughs> yeah. So this is, this is where my cousins and I, uh, skip would start. Like, Oh, oh she's, hubba, bubba. She's hitchhiking. Geronimo. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, double uh, bubble! Come on, I'll give you a ride. <laughs> hey, you know fucked up. You're not a chick, man. <laughs> uh, hey, that's false advertising. <laughs> uh, another thing I read on this is uh, they say man 295 times or something like that in this movie. <laughs> Far out, man. <laughs> He's like, yeah, hey, I froze my balls off last night. And he's like, I didn't think you had any or I wouldn't have stopped. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then he fucking gets to me. He's like, hey, man, this your car, man? You did this yourself. And that's right, man. <laughs> he fucking, all yeah. right. Like, all right, I'll give you a ride, man. Come on. Here we go, man. And, dude, like, I'm saying, I look at it now and I know, you know, I don't. it's not appropriate. But, like, as a kid, dude, we're fucking doing this fucking skit. You know what I mean? Like, I, and it's my cousin was two years older than me, so I'm like maybe six. He's like eight, and we're doing this shit. <laughs> and we'd have yeah. my fucking cousins rolling, bro, like fucking laughing. It's funny. It's just funny. It did. It, it's you know, he like he's pulling off. Ooh, first gear, mm-hmm. second gear. Mm-hmm. <laughs> As where he starts, he's like. uh... Oh man, you're afraid of a little speed, man. <laughs> hey, buddy, you got oh, some speed, man. Oh, you got man? some speed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. He's like, nope. I tell you what, I do got though. I got this joint. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a there's a dig in there, man. That fucking cracks me up to this fucking day. 
is uh, where he's like searching for it, right? And he's like, oh, that's my dick. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he gives him the fucking joint, he's, he's like, like, I hope your dick's bigger than this, man. <laughs> Well, I like that one too. Remember when toothpicks used to come in the little paper like that? Now, bro, you just get them. In, no, they had to the fucking floss at the end and shit. <laughs> He's like, oh wait, oh yeah, light it up. He's like, hey man, this is a hey. toothpick. <laughs> hey, you want to get out and walk, man? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that little joint's all shriveled up. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't even like that one. No, 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 no. But he's funny, dude, because he's talking all kinds of shit. How bad did you want that car, man? Uh, A lowrider like that? Yeah. I don't know. That was never me, man. Like, I was never fucking into the lowrider stuff. I had a friend that had one. But I was never into it. The license plate has a funny story, too. No, no, Uh, no. What's that? The license plate says Muff Diver. Yeah. They said that license plate was actually... In use? That uh, the license plate belonged to uh, an L.A. police officer. No shit. Yeah. That's funny. Uh, he's like, man, I smoke all kinds of shit, man. The Michoacan, Acapulco Gold, man. I probably smoked this whole thing, man, and fucking <laughs> walk away. Uh, he's like, legend, so, man. So, Is this a quarter pounder? Know, my boss is white and from fucking Kentucky. So we're telling this dude, like, hey, man, like, hey, you want to get good fucking barbacoa, good meat and shit? Go to the Michoacan. And he's like, oh, I know what the Michoacan is. I ain't falling for that. And I'm like, what do you think the Michoacan is, boss? <laughs> like, it, it's weed, isn't it? I was like, uh, bro, we're not going to send you to a weed <laughs> Go to the Michoacan. <laughs> he goes, yeah, man, I've seen up in smoke. <laughs> to- toke it up, man. Toke it up. <laughs> sort of grabs you by the boo boo. And dude, I'm telling you, like, if you ever been around stoners, um, and you're with a group of them, or like you're amongst groups, there's always a chicken chong stoner, bro. So as, as soon as you're smoking, or you know someone else is smoking, they're like, "Toke, toke it up, man." <laughs> they start quoting the movie and shit like this. I mean, like, everybody knows this. Yeah, it's a fucking, as far as quotes go, it ranks up there with like Anchorman or fucking the movie we did last week, um, Sandlot, you know, up there with the quotes. And that's the thing, though. It's like not even just a single quote. Like this whole scene, like you said, when you first pick some yeah. up all the way to the, when the when they get, when the cops got them. Yeah. Like Dude, that, that whole you, thing people have just memorized. Yeah. Yeah. You could, you could fucking easily do it. And that, that goes back to it being one of those comedy skits, like you said. Um, in, in the 90s, like, I, as, as I, or probably late 90s, into as I started getting into not wanting to hear music all the fucking time, and I wanted to hear, like, funny shit, I started getting into, like, the Adam Sandler uh, comedy albums and shit like that. Because, you know, I, I got tired of just fucking listening to the same... CDs or, and stuff like that, you know. Hey man, how's my driving? <laughs> that, I think we're parked, man. And they ain't even they're they're barely into that fucking joint, man. Uh, and they're like on a median, look. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and it's funny, bro. Like, cause he's like, he's like, oh hey, man, I never smoked no fucking shit like that before in my life, man. What's, what's, I smoked a lot of shit before, but. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, shit. Oh. He's like, hey, mellow out, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's funny. Like, he gives him the shit, right? And then yeah. he's like, oh, wait, don't take those. And he's like, take his it. fucking face. <laughs> he's like, here, man, take <laughs> these. Take these. What is it? Just take them. <laughs> oh, fuck. And again, <laughs> um, if you if you ever fucking smoked in a group of people, I'm, I'm sure there's people that... that You've seen maybe get like this and they, they fucking freak out and shit like that. Oh, 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 oh. No. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wow, man. You just ate the most acid I've ever seen anyone take. 
<laughs> but what's that shit, man? <laughs> hey, man, I never seen no acid before, man. He's like, <laughs> hope you're not busy for about a month. <laughs> He's like, no, nah, man, don't worry. That's good acid. <laughs> uh, I've seen those people that take too much acid. Their head looks like a pumpkin. <laughs> Again, like, uh, being a kid, we didn't know any, I didn't, I knew fucking, like, people smoke weed, right? Yeah. And I, I didn't know any of this other shit. What the fuck's that? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Whatever, like that. Oh. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is bad. Yeah. You feel better now? Oh, you feel good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, he fucking, ah. <laughs> that fucking, he's like, and then like after he fucking does it right, like he, he's fucking laughing and shit like that. And he's like, hey man, we better pull off, man. Uh, hey man, we're getting pulled over. Hey, baby, dude, we're getting pulled over. <laughs> ah. The cops just went by. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fucking, fucking Pedro, bro. <laughs> It's where it hits him good. Yeah. Even the cop, he's like, rah! And then, okay, like, how, do you think you saw this before La Bamba or after La Bamba? Oh, before. Right? Yeah. So this is the first time I heard this song uh, that they're going to start playing. Um, uh, the Frame song? Oh, I think you're a little ahead of me. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm with you, but I'm just getting into it ahead. Of you. <laughs> but you know, they, they play that frame song. That's the first time I heard yeah. this fucking song. I had never heard this shit like, before. Weigh the anchor. How much does it weigh? <laughs> Wait. I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> hey, he's like, hey, I just thought of something. Your mama. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Hey, he's like. Um, yeah, it's there in the back, man. <laughs> but dude, uh, fucking, and then dudes over there fucking chomping down the fucking acid and shit. <laughs> oh, so what's your name? Oh. Isn't it right there on the court? <laughs> yeah, Pedro the Pacas. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I like this part too, where he's uh, yeah, he puts the beanie over his face. Hey, hurry back, honey. I miss you. <laughs> He's like, I'm blind. Yeah. I'm blind. <laughs> I can see clearly now. <laughs> He's like, hey, man, I ain't blind, man. <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, I mean... That fucking outfit, like, how many people have you seen in that outfit oh, on yeah. Halloween? The red beanie, people, but, red yeah, suspenders. Yeah. yeah, and they'll go as couples, and then so the other one has a Hawaiian shirt with a bandana and shit like that. It's like, what is your name, sir? <laughs> oh, his name is Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> I did hear there na, was na, like na, a, na, na. I did hear there was like a jail scene here that got cut. While they're, oh, okay. while they're in jail. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I haven't seen too much on, on anything fucking deleted or anything like that. But after eating all that shit, like, you, like uh, dude's fucked up still here. <laughs> yeah, for right? eating so all that stuff. Yeah. And it's funny because it presumably gets them dismissed, right? Like, because... Um, he ends up taking that chick, like, he thinks it's water, and, uh, the and judge. he's like, oh, thanks, Pedro, and it's fucking vodka. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, water. But it's funny, <laughs> dude. It's like, uh, that was the first time I've ever heard this fucking, uh, this uh, yeah. frame nah, nah, song. Nah, nah, nah. And I was like, Richie Valens ca- copied them. I think it's before that, I think. No, yeah. It's someone else's song. Yeah, but you know, I was eight watching La Bama. I didn't know that shit. Yeah. You're like, hey, that's cheating song. Mm-hmm. There was no now watch this back in the day to fucking tell me these useless facts that no one needs to know. <laughs> <laughs> Except for us. 
happened? Like, what even happened there? They just they let him out of jail, right? Because <laughs> there was there was, if there, there was no explanation. There, yeah, guys, like homeboy just fucking um, sleeps in their hallway. <laughs> I know. Hey man, there's a bedroom you can crash right there. Hey, next song you're gonna hear is uh, "Dueling Bed Springs." <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stupid. I like um I think it's the next movie where they have a they have a scene where he goes to go see his chick and she works at the welfare office. And um fucking uh Michael Winslow is there. That's the the dude that does all the sounds on police academy. Yeah, yeah. And there and there's this other dude and he this old man like fucking looks like a crack kid just laughing it up. Um and this other dude fucking sleeping with a he has a cigarette and has a long fucking ash on there and fucking Michael Winslow just making you know making noises like They're like man these uniforms are lame man it's like what you mean lame sucker <laughs> <laughs> I like where at uh, he's like if we're gonna wear uniforms we should all wear something different <laughs> but the same oh this part right here gets me too. You see them? They take off from that house, and they flip. Uh, a, they flip a U-turn and they park right next door. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, "What? Fuck!" <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Hey, fucking! Um, but it, it's funny on this one too. I've been searching. Uh, yeah, this song. No, how many times? Like, I'm looking for something, and I'm singing that song. No one knows what the fuck I'm talking about. Uh, you know, we're at work looking for a part, and I'm like, I'm searching, brother. <laughs> I'm searching. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go fuck. meet his cousin, Strawberry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like this now, part too. Now, this is too, like, I mean, I heard Thomas uh, Garrett, 80s or 70s, 80s, is a pretty big actor. You know I, what I mean? I heard too, like, he, he agreed to do this movie, but he didn't know what he was gonna be doing. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, like I said, this whole movie, it was just like them improv. They're just hanging out. Yeah. And it's people that are in there that are, I guess, friends or fans of theirs and, and shit like that. And it's like, I mean, it was early time for them, but I don't even know if they were smoking really that much at the time. But this is funny. It's like, hey, man, it's my cousin Strawberry. Whatever you do, don't say nothing about his birthmark. <laughs> and uh, then when they meet, <laughs> he's like, "I ain't talking about nobody's birthmark, man." Man, yeah. Like, don't look at it either. <laughs> um, I, I don't know how many times I've done that. Uh, hey, we're looking for for uh, looking for Pedro. Pedro's not here. No, I'm Pedro, man. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of a nod to their bit uh, from their album. Yeah, Dave's not, Dave's Dave's not, not here. here. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, one of my one of the guys I worked with for the longest time, uh, we shared an off, uh, office for the longest time together. Uh, was this dude Dave? And I mean, he still works there, but oh fucking dude, it was my favorite, and I just laughed to myself <laughs> whenever someone would be like, "Dave, uh, Dave's not here, man." <laughs> No, I'm Dave. <laughs> the one or two stoners in the fucking group would be like, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> like we're just telling everybody, wanna get high? Wanna get high? Yes, and so now for the rest of your life, whenever you see a fucking parrot or or a bird that talks, what do you try to get them to say? <laughs> yeah. You wanna get high? <laughs> <laughs> it's so badass he's in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> Pedro. He's all whacked out too. Yeah. And he fucking <laughs> looks scary, right? I know. <laughs> you got you got like anyone in your family that that was in Vietnam? Uh no. I got I got a couple of uncles and I've heard some fucking some some stories too that, that were like uh you know, like one that, that my uncle would have a Flashbacks from the time he'd fucking throw you down on the ground and fucking be like, get down. 
Yeah. It's like, oh, shit. I was never around to see it and shit. Like, I didn't see any of that. But, yeah, I, I heard some shit, man. Some He's like, what are you smoke. looking at? You want some smoke? Yeah, we can go And he fucking smoke. turned to tell him nothing, man. Like, hey, I wasn't looking at his neck, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, you, you can come with me. These people, they don't like strange dudes. They don't fuck around. <laughs> <laughs> There's another part too, like okay, like um these they they're you would consider like a comedy duo, right? Like and so like you said, like forever, like even like Jay and Silent Bob are compared to them, you know oh, what yeah. I mean? Like as, as comedy uh duos. Even though Jay and Silent Bob I don't think is anything, you know, like that at no, all. I no mean way. they're they're their own kind of deal. Um, uh, but you know, a lot of times for them, a long time they played the background. Um, I mean, um, don't get me wrong, I fucking love their, their, you know, kind of all of Kevin Smith's stuff, and I like all, I love all their movies, but they're not like necessarily they're, they're no the comedy duo. Song. Yeah, now Kevin, Kevin Smith, if you go and you see him live, like, and you see them interact together live, like, they're they're good, but I mean. The Jay and Silent Bob of it is, you know, it's it's is for the movies. You know what I mean? <laughs> like where he, uh, he knocks over that Ajax and yeah, he's like oh man, it looks so real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, and she's all happy and shit. Where you been all my life? No, it's he's, not. He's freaking out like, what the hell? <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> That I um, I guess fucked with me like you never, got, I never got like how did they act that in it up? What what come back? You were breaking up a little bit. Like how did they act? Okay, like I always thought it was like movie fucking magic or something. Like how did they do that with the straw like sucking something up like it's that? A vacuum, man. It's got to be a vacuum. No way. Yeah. No way. <laughs> It's a freak with a basketball. <laughs> <laughs> These guys fucking crack me the fuck up, bro. These dudes. And it's, just, it's another cliche, right? There's always cops in a, some kind of van, always parked across the street. <laughs> hey, but but um, Stacy Keach, like he was big time back in the day too, right? I think so. Sergeant Stadenko. Didn't he do, like, a show, too, in the 80s? Uh, I don't know. It's, he's got one of those faces where you're like, oh, yeah, I know who he is. <laughs> yeah, because it was like, um, I want to say he did a show kind of like Unsolved Mysteries. Something like that. Rescue 911. No, that was fucking Shatner. Freaking out. Claymore's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, he's freaking out. What? Claymore's. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, fucking is Pegasus you reading the comic book? Yeah. And he's like patties. What are you talking about, patties? It's just Chicanos, man. <laughs> he's like, oh man. Charlie. He's like, oh man, it's the <laughs> cops. Strawberry, they're gonna bust your pad. Hey, it's a cop, they're gonna bust your pad, Strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> take the point I'll take the rear <laughs> and then he takes off <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking funny dude and then he fucking um, uh, homeboy gets locked out and he fucking calls him <laughs> I know how did he know he would answer how do you know he would answer the phone and that was the thing too, right? Like, there's a fucking party going on and shit like that. I know, and Strawberry's not even at it's his big. house. So just all these people just showed up. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, hey, don't answer the phone even if it's me calling. <laughs> Get phone. out. Get out, Ski. Get out, Ski. <laughs> He's like, hey, Sarge, listen to this. Vamos, vamos. 
Yeah. Must be the Mexican connection. Yeah. Sounds very Latin. Get this down. That fucking the the um not not the Sark, not not Stacy Keach, of course, the Stadenko. The fucking other dude, bro. The like, bald guy? That dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fucking funny. Fucking <laughs> shoot the moon. <laughs> shoot the moon. I'm there on the radio. <laughs> shoot the moon. Shoot the moon. That's me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta talk on the fucking mic when we're recording. Hello? 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 Pedro? Oh, we're gonna cut. We get cut off. Uh, so he's already out of the house. I know. <laughs> like, man, I gotta get him out of there. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Fucking how quick does Pedro show up with the fucking with the rest of the band? I know. All in all in the the movers uniforms, like what? <laughs> That's some Superman shit. He went in that phone booth and Dude, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Get a load of these two. And they're like, look, turning blue. <laughs> That's some high grade stuff. Uh, Could be Peruvian uh, flake. <laughs> <laughs> and then this makes like you fucking mix it or something. <laughs> yeah. oof, oof, oof. <laughs> Strawberries flipping out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and then like uh, he fucking busts in there right in the fucking at the end there. <laughs> he fucking shoots the bird. <laughs> Because the bird's all, I wouldn't have looking at his neck. <laughs> <laughs> I like that dude reading, you have the right to remain, you have to, he didn't even know what to say. Get the book, where's the book? <laughs> El Camino Moving Company. <laughs> look, look, he's on the outside fucking looking in. Uh, boss said, just gotta go, man, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, come on, we gotta get you out. <laughs> And he's like, uh, I, I was out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a bus. And they just got a truck. <laughs> they took that They took that coffee table with all the stuff on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking old boy busting his back. I wasn't looking at his neck. Bro, that fucking truck, bro. <laughs> Single file. <laughs> 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 oh fuck! Dude, this movie and and then it's one of those movies too that that again you can rewatch like plenty of times because there's always different shit that you either catch or or laugh at. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, oh, is this your ride? <laughs> Slow machine is yours. This is your love machine. Like, you know what you need to go with this bad ride. A chick? <laughs> <laughs> Genuine diamonds. Those aren't for real diamonds. What? And he scratches like, his... Hey, he fucking scratches his fucking windshield <laughs> right where he fucking drives. Hey, man. Yeah, man, I know Curtis. <laughs> hey, Curtis is on the case. And there, there'll be a lot of people that'll be like, man, it, this movie's too fucking stereotypical. But again, like, you fucking grew up in a neighborhood like this or you've been in a neighborhood, you know these yeah. motherfuckers, man. But that's how you know it's funny, because it's real. <laughs> yeah. So I got that stuff straight from Turkey. It's what set them Arabs <laughs> off. He's all Arabs. Turkeys and Arabs? Arabs, Arabs from <laughs> Turkey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And this is funny, man. He's like, Dame un, what did he say? Uh, it, uh, yeah. Galleta. Yeah. Dame un galleta. Give me a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look how they're, they're all yeah, messed up. And this is like fucking, yeah. I'm a nihilist. The whole fucking band fucked up. The, man, my man Curtis came through for us this time, man. And this dude, dude likes, uh, he looks like fucking, like, uh, wanna be Jimi Hendrix. Yeah? I know. He's like, Juan, don't beg me, man. 
Uh, did you know too? Uh, Chong used to be in a band, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So before they met, I think. Yeah. And I read somewhere where uh, at one of their shows, Jimi Hendrix actually got on stage and he was playing while Chong was on the drums. <laughs> oh, no shit? Yeah. Well, like, I know he was a guitar player, too, at one point. Yeah. And um, I think his, his band was called The Shades. And I want to say they had a, a song on Motown. Like, so he, had, he had a hit, at least. Yeah. And then he was kind of kicked out of the band, but... He credits like meeting Jimi Hendrix and kind of reading or talking to him about something that kind of because he was real clean shaven and fucking real stout, you know, um, a real clean cut and like credit Jimi Hendrix to kind of getting his, him to his bandana to his and look, stuff. <laughs> yeah, his look that he has now. So, yeah, this is another part that I, I don't understand, but that doesn't even matter. Uh Cause they're like, oh, it's a bus, it's the bus, and they're like, oh, it's just La Migra. It's like my, there's a wedding, my cousin's getting married, <laughs> so he calls yeah. the immigration on himself. <laughs> yeah, and they take it takes the whole wedding party down it's to like, Mexico, and, and they like, even and they even feed you. <laughs> yeah, they're like, bro, how fucked up is this, man? <laughs> like, but, but like, I, I, again, you're like you're saying it's funny because it's real. Like you know, shit like that it's happened. But. What gets me, but I don't understand, and it doesn't even matter, is like, why did they go? <laughs> They're American. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, no. No, no, no. He's telling him, right? Like, he's like, oh, you ain't got nothing to worry about unless you ain't got your fucking ID or your, your, uh, Green what card. you call it? Yeah. And so I'm guessing, like, they didn't have their fucking, their what's called on them, so they had no proof, and that's why they got fucking deported, too. I guess. Yeah. Um, but then this sets them off on their fucking on the other side, right? He's like, well, again, because we all know fucking people like this. Is like, yeah, my Theo Chewy uh, does uh, upholstery in Mexico. He gets the work done in Mexico, and then he sells it up here for for a bigger price. I mean, and you know, how many people do we know that go to fucking Mexico for a cheap for something to get something cheaper? You yeah. know what I mean? Living this close to the border. Hell, I still know people at work to go to Mexico oh, to yeah. get stuff done. <laughs> uh, Dude, my wife, uh, like, uh, her friend got her, like, fucking tummy tucked or some shit. It's like, God damn it. And they went to Mexico. I was like, you can get trafficked. I want one of those Pepe Lopez shirts. <laughs> I think that's a tequila. And dude, these these guys like, uh, and then the other dude in the red jumpsuit, <laughs> <laughs> they're all idiots. He's like the actual TV set itself, Harry. It's like where where are they hiding the weed inside TV sets? They're like, how much do you think that all this is worth? A shitload. <laughs> 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 but it's great the way they're fucking talking about it, right? And then, then um, you kind of see, and they they talk about it into a fiberglass and shit like that. But if you looked at like weed today, and then what they have on this shit, like that don't look like good stuff at all. <laughs> that shit looks like fucking like what the fuck? But it's funny because. They're, they they spend all their time fucking looking for weed. When he's walking, like, I guess he can't fucking pay attention because he wants to go to the restroom. They yeah, shit all over the floor. Up all over. <laughs> now, this this scene where they're eating the burrito. You're on that right now? Yeah. This part where the dog takes the burrito out of his hand. <laughs> supposedly, that was just a stray dog on the street that took it yeah. out of his hand and they left they left it in the movie. Like that fucker. Hey, and then it, it's funny, like fucking, um, when he does, he's like, you know that shit that that stuff's made a dog. He's like, <laughs> it's a good dog, man. <laughs> like we're here to pick so, up the band. You know, I don't know if if you have a big, yeah, 
we have a population at work uh, of fucking Vietnamese. I'm always telling them that shit too. Like, <laughs> dude, like that shit y'all bring that that dog brisket is good. <laughs> We're here to pick up the van. Shh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he... Toilet. Where's the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> now he he makes a comment uh, when he gets oh. in the bathroom about a joke, an old joke. That uh, my stepfather, at that time when I when mm-hmm. I was young, used to say say all the time. Then after I saw this movie, I was like, "That's where he got that damn joke." Because whenever he eats, he said, "We never eat something spicy. Uh-huh. Eat some ice cream afterwards." Because <laughs> uh-huh. when you go into the bathroom and it's burning your ass, you be like, "Come on, <laughs> ice cream." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's fucking funny. And he's fucking holding his ass, walking all the way over there. <laughs> but um, you look at all this shit that he's walking by, dude. Like, how did he miss all that? I mean, you'd, you'd think you'd smell it in there, right? Like, mm. Oh, yeah, it would fucking stink like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Get no paper, so he takes that Playboy yeah. picture off the wall. Come on, ice cream. <laughs> Woo, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. Um, the whole the whole thing with with them kind of trying to chase them down and everything. It, it, it's again in the eighties or in the seventies. You started getting all these movies that were uh, like on the road movies. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we had like um, Smokey and the Bandit. Yep. Um, or Cannonball. The, Cannonball Run. You started getting the race movies. I fucking loved all those fucking movies. Hell yeah. Um, Dom DeLuise. I mean, th- that dude, again, like, people who didn't, I don't know, if, you know, a lot of people I knew or even were, were, like, thought he was funny. But that dude, man, that dude would fucking, like, I'd fucking crack up on his shit. And then I liked those movies because they gave you the first kind of look at the, um, you know, the, after the movie, they played the... The bloopers? The, the bloopers. Yeah, that was my favorite yeah. part, I think. Right? Like, like you'd stay for after the movie, and, and that was the first time you even saw... Him, like him and Burt Reynolds used to... We were just seeing the movie. Him and Burt Reynolds used to crack up, man. I bet you that was that was a lot of fun <laughs> making those movies, man. Dude, I'm, I'm telling you, I mean, you know a lot of fucking drugs passed around and shit like that. And that's how, like, these dudes became popular um, with their crowd because they, they were doing their shows in L.A. and stuff like that. But, again, they hadn't made movies or nothing yet. And and they were, I think they had put out the record already. They had, you know, a kind of celebrity following. And that's how you get fucking people like Stacey Keach in this movie and, um, you know, uh, Homeboy we saw earlier, uh, you know, through fucking scenes like that. How you get to use uh, Jack Nichols' car? Yeah, and I don't. I don't know. I mean, I'm not a comedy album expert, but how many comedy albums were were there that they were actually doing like skits like that? You know what I mean? They had to be mm-hmm. one of the first to kind of do skits and stuff. I think you had like them. You had like maybe Bill Cosby, but but um, doing actual skits like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so, again, I guess they found or he he saw the shit coming out, right? Because they got a another uh, joint. Yeah, another fat joint. And he's like, "Where'd you learn to roll shit like that, man?" He's like, ah, "I used to be a fucking roadie for the Doobie Brothers." <laughs> this is the most racist, well, offensive thing. <laughs> uh, but at the time, you know. Whatever, it's the 70s. Uh, this Asian reporter, she comes up. <laughs> you know her name? No, no, no. What was her name? She goes, this is Toyota Kawasaki. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's so offensive now, but at the time. But it's for the time. Yeah, yeah, I was like. At the man. time. <laughs> it's funny, yeah. Uh, I was like, how long you been here? A week. <laughs> a day. I mean, a day. A weekday. A weekday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he fucking blows it out. 
You think not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and those nuns. Yeah, so the cops know there's a some kind of vehicle made out of weed going across the border. Yeah. He threw that joint and now they're busting the nuns because they're filling their lap. <laughs> These motherfuckers don't know. They're like, yeah, that's cold bloody. And they're like, oh, let's watch. <laughs> Instead of getting the hell out of there. And the fucking nuns are getting fucked up. And then this is like fucking, uh, yeah. I mean, this is fucked up too. <laughs> yeah. Because like, they're would, all enjoying it. This would offend people now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and funny, they fucking drive by in the background of this uh, of the shot here, fucking. And dude, I'm. I tell you what, like, have you ever saw the news in your neighborhood? Like, like I told you, I grew up in that neighborhood where we saw at least like two or three motherfuckers get shot. When the news went to that neighborhood, guess whose ass ran <laughs> in the background to try and get, get on, on TV? TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking. When we went to, um, the wife and I went to, like, Monday Night Raw uh, one time, and there I was in the background fucking trying to get on TV. I actually got on TV. Um, I fucking, I got to get a screenshot of that. <laughs> but it's been a few times. Like, uh, me and the boys went fucking ringside, too. We got on TV, shit like that. Nice. You tell the nuns, you should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Uh, and he tells that other joke. joke. <laughs> like my dad used to tell me, what "Don't me can eat pre on Sunday." <laughs> <laughs> it just fucking cracked me up too. They come in and uh, that dog fucking smells their shit. Yeah. But um, he's fucking taking a leak and he just fucking turns and fucking wiggles out on him. <laughs> What's going on out there, out there man? And this dude, <laughs> he's always looking at himself in the mirror, picking his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucking wicked at him. <laughs> what the fuck? Son of a bitch. Some asshole pissed on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking suits that they're wearing, bro. It's awesome. Who's the 70s? There's two hippies in a green van. The fucking dog's all upside down. <laughs> they left the fucking dog there and fucking took off. <laughs> and there has to have been some I'm other story with the. No, none, bro. But there's the two guys, I guess they're the owners of the truck, trying to get it back because obviously those weren't the right. They weren't the right guys that were supposed to take it. Yeah, so I guess, like, when he wrote down the number, it was on a bag, that bag got greasy or something like that, and it kind of messed up the address, like so he seven, went to the wrong address. Is it seven or a one? A seven, let's go. <laughs> That's why he's like, hey, I'm here to pick up the van. They're like, Shh. He's like, use my binoculars, they're on the floor. Comes out with these big ass binoculars. <laughs> oh yeah, these are great, Sarge. <laughs> He's like best stuff I ever knew. Fucking talking about the dog. <laughs> you imagine fucking. You ever drip? I mean, you've driven through L.A., man. Those highways are just long fucking stretches. I know. So if you take a wrong turn or something like that, you're going the wrong way for a long fucking time. You yeah. motherfuckers got him. That's what I said uh, uh, last year. Last year I went to see family in California. And like, I, I was telling my highways. son, um, or go backwards. You know, we get a lot of visitors at work from other states and stuff. Mm-hmm. And they always say that they love that we have turnarounds. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? Because yeah, yeah, if yeah. you're in California or probably other places, there's no turnarounds. If you take a wrong yeah. exit, you're off in another area. <laughs> you're fucking going that way for a while. Dude, and then these hitchhikers, the, the chicks that they hook up with, 
fucking that one lady with the long hair cracks me the fuck up. <laughs> like the way she talks, the way she acts. Dude, down to her last fucking scene when when they're playing the band, uh, dude, she cracks me the fuck up. Oh fuck! And I don't, I don't know too. why he's shooting out of the out of the car, anyways. Yeah. And he's yeah, fucking the tire. yelling. Yeah, he's yelling at him like, "Shoot their tire!" <laughs> <laughs> he's like you are a stupid, stupid man. <laughs> The funniest <laughs> shit is, uh, like, the way they actually, when they get at the end. <laughs> you have anything to say to yourself? Get in the car. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'd make that motherfucker change the tire. <laughs> They're fucking gone. Then anyway, the funny thing about it is, like, they go the whole time. Not realizing that it is what it is, you know, it, it's fucking made of weed, and they go their whole fucking um, like they don't even know they're being chased about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> no. Like I'm trying to think, like, like because they stop at that one spot, they stop at the cop spot, um, because they're trying to get more, they're trying to get either like more weed or, or some drugs at all. I see London, I see France. <laughs> I'm not out in three weeks in the search party. <laughs> Fucking cheech. Fucking yeah. sweet and low. You got lewds? <laughs> like, no, I don't no. have any lewds. I mean, lewds? Shh, I don't have enough. <laughs> <laughs> It bitch has a whole fucking carrying case. <laughs> and dude, like, like I'm just saying, fucking cheech back in the day, like, it was hard to talk about, like, this motherfucker pulled some shit. And, like, I mean, this dude's a fucking short, balding Chicano. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, like, that yeah. made me think that, you know what, like, I can be funny too, like, you know. With the fucked up mustache. If we're talking about iconic mustaches. Right? Cheech has one of the most iconic mustaches because it's like, it's not even. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It has that gap way to the side. (laughs) (laughs) But do you know why he used to grow a mustache? No, no, no. He was uh, born with a cleft lip. And I'm assuming that's why his mustache grew like that. That's why it's like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) But dude, yeah, and and it's it fucking even back in the day, but like, it almost provided a, a second life to him, right? When he shaved it, because he kind of looked like a whole different fucking dude. Oh yeah. And then you know that's when he started getting all these different movies. Like, I mean, fucking. Was it like Tin uh, Cup? One of my favorites is Dust Till Dawn. You remember Dust Till oh, Dawn? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got sweaty pussy, <laughs> but. The other part of it is, too, like, I mean, the complete opposite of that, this dude was in fucking Lion King. Yeah. Um, uh, and I want to say he, you know, whenever they revisit those kind of guys or those hyenas, he, he's still in it. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty fucking badass. They didn't use him for the live action remake, though. I'm a little mad at that. Oh, no shit. But they didn't use everybody, did they? No, I think the only one that stayed the yeah. same was James Earl Jones, right? Yeah, but the good part, I mean, could, I guess it's it's hard to touch that. But, like, the, the the good part was them together, right? It was, like, him, uh, Whoopi Goldberg, and somebody else. I forget who the third was. <laughs> They're at the police station. They're messing around with the microphone. I like that part, too. It's like, <laughs> I'm going to take off your blouse. And I'm going to take off your shoes. Hello, <laughs> 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 headquarters. Come in, headquarters. Use code name. 
Hardhead. Hardhead. Code name Hardhead. Is it Lardass? <laughs> Code name Hardhead. Go ahead, Lardass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got something for you, Lardass. <laughs> <laughs> You know who this is? No, who is this is? <laughs> bye bye, Lord ass. <laughs> Dude, and and then like um I think the the band said they play at the end. They they had some good fucking bands. Yeah, I think all those were real bands at the time. They probably just filmed one day there at the show at the Roxy or whatever and Yeah. And then fucking cuz dude, I mean Everything that they show in the movie, and then what this dude comes out with when they're actually fucking singing, like where the fuck did that come from? For real. Like I don't like, yeah, I don't want to get too far ahead of it, but when he comes out like fucking, uh, was fucking funny. But that song kicks ass. I don't care what you say. <laughs> yeah, it's so bizarre. But that's them. That was them back in the day. Yeah. They were so weird and funny. And it, cause it's funny, like I, I want to say, I mean, I remember the movie and everything like that. But I became a big Corn fan when I was a kid, and so uh, this song, like on the Corn song, like fucking dude, it, it kicks ass, like in the in the Corn song. And it's funny because I think they show documentaries where Corn does their uh, does their albums. Look at this motherfucker again. <laughs> Well, Corn does their albums and they do them all together. Like, but they switched up. Like, I think uh, the lead singers on 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 the drums, and you know, they switch guitars, some shit like that. But it, it, it's just pretty badass, man. Like, and then to get him in the studio and he does his fucking orale, like fucking, it, it's pretty badass. Again, picking his teeth in the mirror. <laughs> Next to a dude pissing. Always, but 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 Cheech, he went and pissed right next to him. I'm sure there was another urinal he could have used. <laughs> Dude, I fucking hate when motherfuckers do that. Like, uh, if you're in a urinal and there's open spots and they come next to you, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like this. the The tailpipe starts smoking, and so it's burning yeah. the burning the weed. <laughs> yeah. There's that dude and eating the hot dog like, there. Everyone automatically gets the fucking munchies around them. But that dude's eating the hot dog. <laughs> and then he, they show him going by like 20 more hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And um, then it gets to, I think it's right here where they get pulled over by the cop. And they, he's all fucking... He's all fucked up. He's <laughs> like, oh, I got this spot on my shirt. He's like, yeah, take it off. I'll get it off for you. He's <laughs> like, hello. <laughs> and that was, uh, like like I tell you, they started off in a, in a strip club. So, like, they wanted to do their show, but at the same time, uh, Chong didn't want to lose uh, part of their listeners or, or part of their viewers because of, you know, the change in the scene. So they incorporated topless into their shows. Um, And that's how, again, they became, you know, they're as funny as they were or whatever. But, I mean, they started off with, like, you know, in a burlesque show and shit like this. Like, hey, man. Cops. I have a license. Hey, when he fucking pushes her in the back and he's telling her, and, and she's like, he's so sweet. <laughs> like, get out of here. Everything that fucking chick says is fucking funny, bro. I'm sorry. There's a cop. Got her fucked up. <laughs> I like where he's like, uh, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> he's all, all fucked up. Uh, nothing. <laughs> hey, can I have a bite of your hot dog? <laughs> yeah, sure, man. Have it. You can have it. 
<laughs> you want you want some Fritos? He doesn't. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I want some Fritos, man. I would want some Fritos. I want some Fritos right now. Uh, you have a nice day. <laughs> I I would trip the hell out if that happened. Yeah. Like, what? What the hell just happened? You're smashing my nuts. <laughs> they, they, they have a lot of scenes where they're just driving together, right? Like, like that are iconic. Like, you think about that one scene. Where he goes to his sister's and he gets a bag of soap, but you know what it looks like, right? Like, yeah. and he's like, "No, man, like, no." And he's like, "Come on, man, just let me let me sniff it a little." He's like, "No," and he's like, "Just let me smell it." He's like, "No, man, you like, can't." Ah. <laughs> hey, man, this soap. <laughs> Is that this? Fu- that's not this. It's movie, not this right? movie. It's like a, that's another one. Um, but yeah, it, like that's one of the funny ones. And then the other one is um, you remember the one they're in the van, right? Remember they tripped their van out? Yeah, yeah. And then so everyone ever wanted to do that, right? Like fucking, hey, I'm gonna pull over. And they pull over and they fucking they start fucking shit like that, right? They, they make their van look all badass. But the one scene is where, like, he's like, yeah, tell him, order <laughs> And he's, he's fucking screaming out the van, order le And he's like, order le order le And they're jumping up and down with the fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, the lowrider and shit. Bro, that shit fucking, that, that would get me back in the day. It's like, how did they even get into this battle of the bands? <laughs> I mean, all these people yeah. are already there and they just show up. I like this part too, where they're the rock fight of the right. They're in the they're in the back of the van. They're all passed out, and that one chick's telling a story about some guy. <laughs> Bro, and he's like, "I didn't know your name was Alex, man." <laughs> <laughs> so make way, yeah. King Salami. <laughs> He's like, dude, you're you're a hero out here, man. He busts out and everybody starts clapping like, woo. <laughs> dude, these motherfuckers in there, it's, it's all all three of them in there. <laughs> dude, that's why this chick fucking makes me laugh. Just the way she talks. She's like a motorboat, you know. <laughs> Her brother's name Alex and she's like, fuck me. <laughs> Oh shit! And then he fucking wakes up. And he's like, "I got a cramp. Like, I got a cramp." Oh, oh, oh! The whole van starts shaking. <laughs> <laughs> and she just freaking out, like, "Oh my god!" Sitting on the outside, the whole fucking crowd, the whole line to get in is there, and they're just fucking watching <laughs> this van fucking shake, and this bitch is fucking like, "Fuck me out! Fuck me out!" <laughs> Fucking cheat get to get up. I like that when he's like, yeah, she's that, but she's still telling the story, man. So they're all cheering. <laughs> Dude, and it, like my favorite part is right here where he gets he gets the his hat and he's fucking waving his dick. <laughs> <laughs> cool it off. Ooh, ooh, shit. There you go there, King Salami. And I automatically he's like, <laughs> you're a hero. <laughs> <laughs> After you, King Salami. There's <laughs> another part too where they're in this club and I don't even care. Because like, it shows them, like, in a room, in, like, a green room or something. Yeah. And then the very next scene, Chong is, like, outside walking around. It's like, what What just happened? <laughs> it's like, and they're writing the song, right? And I'm telling you, my mom took it to me, Dad. <laughs> what the fuck? He didn't hear me curtains is there. But, did it, again... Like, I remember 
like ska music coming out in the late 90s. Mm. But I don't remember seeing a lot of bands that incorporated fucking horns and shit. I know. That's I think that's what made it cool too, right? <coughs> like they these other, musicians. They show you know? these other bands and it's like three people. You got a guitarist, yeah. a bassist, and a drummer. That's it. Yeah. <clears throat> and the... the the, this band comes in, they're all kind of dressed the same. And, um, but this motherfucker comes in with this fucking tutu. <laughs> <laughs> and then, but, um, Chong's wearing like a fucking superhero outfit or some <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> with that cape and shit. Oh. They're like, man, what did you give him? <laughs> I, I gave him some ups. And then she was like, oh, no, I think I fucked up. <laughs> and, like, it's funny because. <laughs> See, they were just inside, and now the next scene, she's picking him up off the curb yeah. outside. Like, what happened? I don't even care. Yeah. Though. Guy in the background looks like fucking. Uh... Not Ron Burgundy, but fucking <laughs> And it's got to be like a, a real crowd, right? Yeah. And then look at this bitch. She's all fucked up, too. She fucking drops him. And picks, picks up, up some other dude. Gets to him. <laughs> <laughs> and the fucking cops show up. Get back in their laundry car. <laughs> and then they have those... uh I guess, what do they call it? Like the, the Harry Krishnas or whatever the fuck? <laughs> Dance around. The cops end up taking their shit later. <laughs> so stupid. When I was, uh, These dudes. <laughs> when I was looking up uh, the movie, I saw something about those those extras that they had, Harry Krishnas. They paid them, yeah. 20, they paid them 25 bucks to shave their head. <laughs> uh, I'd do it. I would have done it. Oh, fuck yeah. It, dude, but it looks like, again, they show a lot of the crowd at this place and stuff like that. There's got to be a lot of extras or, or people that they use that they didn't fucking pay for shit. You know. No, they they're probably like, hey, you want to be in a movie? Fucking, yeah. Because the crowd, I mean, they just look like a real crowd. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I want to say, like, Draft House used to show these movies back in the day. Oh, yeah? And it was funny because they, they do it. I want to... I mean, I could imagine it more at a... Like a drive-in or some shit. Like, you know this movie was showed at the drive-in back in the day. Oh, yeah. Bunch of fucking 70s potheads out there. I don't want to go to your school. <laughs> I like some of this fucking... Some of these bands... It was a stupid fucking shit that I listened to back in the day, too. <laughs> um, like some of this fucking indie rock and shit like that. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. <laughs> and they just thought they were going to get in. Yeah. And, and it's funny because they go in and they're like, okay, we're not Christians. We're, uh, we're brothers of the faith. We don't <laughs> need no chemo like, All right, all right, all right. We're fucking cops. You ain't getting in. Like, you still got to have a ticket. That's hardcore, right? Be able to tell a cop, say, I don't yeah. care. You need a ticket. I don't care. <laughs> you ain't a gun. That's a gun. Not an ID. And then, I guess, those guys kind of roll up at the same time, right? Yeah. Um. They roll up. The car's getting towed. And they roll up, and the cops see it at the same time that they see it, and that's how they get fucking. They kind of get busted. I did like how they're like, "Whose car is this? Or whose van is this?" And they're like, "What van? I don't know. <laughs> what van? Like, where's the tow truck driver? I know he he hooked it up. Is that brought homeboy it, in the shirt? Hooked it up, brought it out to the front, and then that's it. It stayed there." <laughs> and then, as you saw, like, it's leaking gas. 
Right. And it's made of weed. So, <laughs> you know, it's going to catch fire. <laughs> I like how this uh, announcer is like, I don't know who these guys are, <laughs> but here they are. Oh, they didn't even give him a name, right? No. <laughs> he was just like, I don't know who these guys are. Man, my man, Pedro got his, or my man, Curtis hooked this up. <laughs> and Chong's all fucked up. He's wearing red, red tights with a blue thong on. <laughs> <laughs> And a cape. And he looks fucked up. Like, I've never seen their stage show. Does he come out like that? I don't know. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? Just, she says something. I forget what the fuck she says. She's just so crazy. He's got a Mickey Mouse hat on. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Uh, Chong just fucking right. fell down with all the fucking drums. A pink tutu. Uh, pink tutu. Pink tutu with like, booby tassels. <laughs> He's got a garter on his leg. And the truck, a truck starts to catch fire, right? Yeah, one of the one of, Harry Christians oh, throws a cigarette. <laughs> like, nobody notices this fire. <laughs> and the fucking truck starts burning, and the whole crowd just starts getting fucked up. And Chong. you can see it. <laughs> Chong is all fucked up. Yeah. When the cops Chong go get pizza. Up. Yeah. <laughs> Because they're smelling the fucking the, the burning car and they're fucking stoned. And, you know, the classic thing about, oh, you're, you're stoned is you got the munchies yeah. and, and you're going to eat. So, and those guys. Motherfuckers are eating. He's like, you're stoned, Harry. <laughs> and those guys just walk off. Yeah. The guys, they. He's like, come on, I'll buy you something to eat. <laughs> they're fucking stoned too. <laughs> And, okay, like, now the smoke's going into the Roxy. And I just like how the crowd's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that wakes Chong up. He's like, oh. Ooh, and now, okay. Again, they do one of these these uh, classic movie tropes of being high. And the way they show that everyone's high is everyone gets the munchies, right? Yeah. And so now that tray of burgers comes out, everyone fucking eats. <laughs> and here they go. He's so crazy. Crowd? I swear it looks like her. Who? Um, right in the front of the crowd, there's a girl in white, and it looked like the coke girl, but it probably wasn't. Mm. She's just some blonde. And it's funny because he's not even singing into the fucking mic most of the damn time. <laughs> he's just, <laughs> he's just fucking singing. <laughs> she's just so crazy. Yeah. Especially like, like stuff like this. Like, gonna, yeah. It reminds me when he's doing the whole song thing on uh, Born in East LA. Yeah. East LA is fucking classic. We got to cover it one day. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Harry, I'm stoned. <laughs> He's like, just go with it. <laughs> I'll go with it. And he grabs like five slices of pizza. But it's funny because, I mean, they didn't fuck up. Like, they caught the fucking guys. They caught the band, right? You know? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This whole movie. Good job, I'll pick it to a tree. The whole movie, <laughs> if you try to, like, 
have it make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't even matter. No, 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 no. It doesn't no, even no, matter. No. no, dude, this is a straight up fucking stoner comedy, and and it becomes like kind of what stoner comedies are made. <laughs> Um, Friday is just a day in the neighborhood, right? Yeah. Um, half baked, you know. It, it starts off with their friend goes to jail, and they're gonna try and bail them out. Days and confused. You know? That's just one yeah. day. That's just one day that they're fucking, you know. And and you know, all these movies came out after it, but I mean, of course, I remember it as being the first because we were so young. But at, at the same time, I remember it, you know, you don't see too much before this that kind of made this comedy acceptable. And like I said, this movie fucking made money. So, um, and the movies that came after that, there was a lot of stoner stuff that came after this that, you know, owe their start to this movie here. And a lot of them do, I want to say, play pay a little tribute to to um Cheech and Chong. Yeah, and you know, I I haven't heard too that um when this movie was being made they showed it to um or they wanted the director wanted uh more money. And they went to show it to the movie people or whatever and they didn't like it. <laughs> oh no shit. So I think the director got money to finish it himself. Oh, okay, yes, I heard that. I heard that, and, and he he ended up finishing it for them, and then you and know, then they bought it. They back. ended up making, yeah, yeah. But I, I mean, I would think like he would have to own this shit because you see a lot of like Cheech and Chong merchandise and shit like that. Oh yeah. Um, I'm sure I mean, you it, know like. I'm sure if, if Cheech and Chung didn't do anything else, they could live off the royalties off of this money, off this movie. Oh, yeah. But you got to know he's getting that fucking Disney money, you know? Oh, yeah. Getting those Lion King royalties. And, you know, I was just thinking about it. He was wearing the Mickey Mouse ears. You can't do that nowadays. <laughs> oh, yeah. You'd, you'd have to get approval. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Fuck Disney yeah. would be like, nope, you ain't wearing those. <laughs> I don't care if you are in the Disney family, oh, but he like smoke. he became famous. You know what I mean? Like he stayed famous for for a long time when Chong wasn't doing nothing really, and then Chong came out in that '70s show. Yeah, and you know everyone was kind of happy to see him back and fucking doing something. Well, because you know Cheech, we know he went off and do his own thing. Chong tried to. I think what was that movie? It was like Far Out Man. Yeah. Uh but yeah, that didn't that didn't catch on at all. Yeah. No, no, no. But you know, like Cheech, I think Tin Cup maybe was the first look that that really saw him after Chi Jin Chong and, and kinda saw that okay, like he's not he's not just a fucking a stoner and stuff like that. Right. I, I wanna say I think I've seen him even do stand up by himself. Really? Yeah. But Let's I think, see. you know, I do think it was good that they did uh reunite as they got older because, you know, you know, Chong got sick and um well, he had cancer. Yeah. And and so, you know, I think he was just doing like medicinal and stuff. And then the dude went to fucking prison. Did you hear about that? Yeah, for um, for having paraphernalia, I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, what, yeah, why. yeah. Some kind of weird fucked up charge. It's but, like, come on, it's Chong. You know he's got some weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, now, do you read Snoop Dogg? Like, no. Come on. Right. It's like everybody knows Snoop Dogg got some weed on him. I'm telling you, I met the dude. Yeah. But what do you think? They just need to hurry up and legalize it here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, man, I don't know. If that comes, I'd, I'd fucking, I'd want to get in on that business because that looks like a fucking cash maker. Well, I'm sure there's people here in Texas that have fields ready. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Especially like I have um I have a friend that I work with that uh like he fucking talks about it. Like uh he says like I think he's got a license that he can grow non medicinal stuff. But mm-hmm. that you know, even those get um I guess they get checked or, or taxed fucking heavy right now. Right. So. But shit, that's the movie, <laughs> man. Uh I think it's the shortest movie we've done too. I don't know, maybe. I, I think we did Monster Squad. Monster Squad was like like eighty, eighty something. Yeah. But uh, But dude, like that's a classic. You know what I'm saying? Like Monster you Squad think about all that get out of here. Oh, Monster Squad's a <laughs> classic, of course. Yeah. But up in smoke, like okay, it's one thing, it's a Chicano classic. Latino classic. Um, another is a stoner classic. And then, you know, it's a comedy classic. And, and Chi Chi Chong got to go up there. Like, I'm I'm not saying, you know, they're in the top, but they're one of the top comedy duos out there. You know what I mean? Right. If not the top. I mean. Yeah. They're originators. You know what I mean? Yeah. They, they set the standard for these type of movies. Dude, and, and it, it's fucking, it's good stuff. It's classic stuff. Um, again, I, I I can't think of anything fucking more iconic that I grew up with. You know what I mean? Like, later on, I, I did see stuff like, like Little Horn Harvey that came before them and stuff like that. And so you can see that. But I can see how, like, this, you think about, um, Jay and Silent Bob. And you think about some of the classic duos that we see nowadays, and you gotta think they were all born of that. Absolutely. Um, speaking of a classic duo, um, these guys are on. Uh, Adam and Chuck. <laughs> yeah. Um, Maybe we can crash in when we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> But um, I don't know, man. Like I, I, I've always uh, had Chi Chi Chong in mind. Um, again, it's so quotable that that it fucking lives with you. Like so, it comes out even in the most craziest of times and, and stuff like that. But like you know, you can kind of quote it anywhere. Like like I said, man. Like the Dave's out here, you know, shit like that, man. It, it just lives with you. It's like, you know. I know our generation for sure. Everybody knows who Cheech and Chong are. And I know my kids know who they are. I just hope it lives on. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's such such a great movie. I mean, it's not, but it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> it, but it is. You know, it like is. I said, like, it, it birthed so many movies out of it. You know, I mean, I don't know. Do we get stuff like Half-Baked and, and stuff like that? Um, outside of this movie, you know, like I- I'm sure at some point it does come along, but this movie kind of again it made fucking, uh, for lack of a better term, like marijuana culture, like fucking almost acceptable or, or known uh, amongst people. Yeah, it's just I don't know. I just don't want it to go away. <laughs> <laughs> And if they and made, that, if they were able to make a new movie, I mean, I think it'd be awesome. I just I know they're old. I think Chong's in his Chong's in his eighties. Yeah. So it's like, and I, I think Cheech is in his seventies, but. But I think you you still kind of again, you don't get exactly it, but you still get mimics out there, you know, that that come out, and they try to be. Uh, maybe the new age Chick Chick Chong, like I remember, um, as late as, and, and I like the movie um, How High, but people were kind of trying to fucking compare Method Man and Red Man to being the next Chick Chick Chong, and it's like, come on. But see, that's the thing. It's like everybody's going to be compared. Everybody, oh, you're, yeah. You're trying to do Chick Chick Chong. Yeah. No. 
can only imitate. Ooh, can, ooh, I'm just a love magician. <laughs> you can only imitate. And I don't work for nobody but you. Imitate but not duplicate. Dude, again, it's classic. Um, as we, we, we get into our, our stuff, um, talk about ratings, you know, I think it gets all the tacos. We'll get into that. Uh, let's let's start with this one. What is the best or your favorite part? There's so many, so many. Uh, you go first. You go first. I said it earlier. It gets me every time. I don't know why, but when Chong's dad at the beginning is like, "When boy." <laughs> He's like You can start with strawberries And work your way up to these goddamn bananas You like so much <laughs> uh, We're gonna sing oh, you up with that goddamn <laughs> Finkelstein shit kid <laughs> <laughs> And the wife Just in the background Being all nice and, and then until he burps and She's like uh, disgusting <laughs> Oh man that gets me every time I don't even know why It's just yeah. It's one of those things It's like it's so fucking funny. And I heard, too, uh, like I was saying, uh, Cheat and Chong did a lot of improv, but they let that couple, his parents, make up uh-huh. that whole make up that whole thing, whatever they were saying to him. Oh, no shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. But that's what it seemed like, right? Like, the whole fucking thing. Um, there, like you said, there was some shit that didn't really make sense, but it didn't matter. Yeah. What about but, you, man? I gotta say, I, I think my favorite. It's it's always gonna be that that first um, introduction and car scene between Pedro and the man. Like oh. I said, uh, I I, I want to say I can quote the whole fucking thing. Um, me and my cousins used to be able to like at at an early fucking age that we really should have been uh, watching shit like that. Um, so it was like. Again, so, that'll always live with me as my favorite fucking part. Like I said, I don't know how many movie scenes that are like that, where it's like the whole scene, you know what I mean? Yeah, like you can quote, like yeah. fucking word for word. Not like other and movies, you, you have got it memorized. certain lines. Yeah. This is the whole fucking scene, because it just, it just all rolls together. It's, yeah, and and I'm going to say, I'm going to say something, you know, I like it. Like, you, like, I could probably quote, like, whole Batman scenes at the end of The Dark Knight Rises or oh, get um, out of here. <laughs> The Dark Knight, right? <laughs> oh, no, but no. Yeah. Again, this movie, especially comedic-wise, there, there's, n- there's not a lot more that, that will do a whole scene like that. Like, Anchorman has a lot of quotes, but a whole fucking scene like that that you could kind of sit and I, I want to say you could sit with other fucking people and y'all two not know each other at all, but then y'all both be able to quote it back and forth to each other. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. This movie brought people together, luck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> brought us together today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I was glad we were able to get it in, man. Like, I'm like, you know, um, our last movie hit and I, again, People ask who you do it for, and I'm like, I, I do it for me. Yeah, I was like, for me. Oh, that, that's, if, that's if y'all if podcast. y'all like to listen in and and hear us jabber about this movie, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so tell you what, I'm gonna listen to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what do we got here? Surely you can't be serious. Surely you can't be serious. Anything you didn't like? Um, or you don't like? I don't know. I like there was a couple like again, I don't think the scene at the end, like Chong, Chong being fucked up, I don't think that needed to be there because he had already been fucked up at one point in the movie. Um you know yeah. you know, and I liked everything else besides that. Like I, I can't think of, of too much else. Like you think about the actors that they used in their position, you know, you had Tom Skerritt that played Strawberry. You had a uh, fucking viper. Fucking viper. I'm, I'm telling you, dude, like they had badass, good actors in good positions. Like even like the bumbling 
actor that played the the fucking the cop that fucked up all the time. Like he was fucking funny. Like you know, in, in the shit that he did. So it's fucking yeah. it's awesome, man. Like it was good. Yeah, I mean, if I had to pick anything, just those scenes that don't make sense. Where like one moment they're outside or inside, and then they're outside and. Like I said, it doesn't even matter, though. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, yeah, this yeah. movie does not need to make sense. Because, like I said, yeah. there's no plot. It's not, there's not, the movie is about nothing. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, but, uh, then, like, the fucking awesome. pictures that you were able to get out uh, and, and and everything did. I was laughing my fucking ass off. Oh, the little video? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, what else we got? If I can change, you can change. And you can change. We можете измениться. Everybody can change. Everybody can change. Would you change anything? Again, like I said, I don't think so, man. Like, again. Movie could have been longer. Nah, it, it was a perfect fucking perfect fucking viewing for a, a stoner movie, right? Because like I guess the, the you know you don't want to be in there too long. Yeah. I mean, but I, yeah, I mean you're not gonna get a stoner to sit there and watch a two and a half hour movie. <laughs> and it birthed like five of the movies from them with the same thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, would I change anything? I don't. No, man. I don't think I would. It doesn't need it. It doesn't need it. It's hard to change perfection. It's because it, it doesn't need it, right? I wouldn't no, change anything. not at all. Uh, I tell you, this movie should never be remade. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. Because they're starting, I mean, it's been going on for a long time, but they're remaking a lot of classics. The one just announced they're going to, uh, remake Roadhouse. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I like Jake Gyllenhaal. How can you do that? Again, who are you going to put? Okay, you got Jake Gyllenhaal, right? And then I'm hearing Conor McGregor is going to be the bad guy. But yeah. What kind of shit is that? I don't know. Because you know? well, I think the story, from what I read, uh, he's going to be a former MMA fighter. But why? Why not just name it a different movie? I know. Why right? does it have to be Roadhouse? Like right? fucking name it fucking Conor why, McGregor fight. Why, why you gotta change shit up? <laughs> Stupid. It makes no fucking sense. But uh all right, so what's your rating on this movie then? Uh I know I've been fucking I've been giving out the tacos like crazy, but I have to have this I mean this one's a classic. I think it's because we gotta be four fucking tacos for me. <laughs> I think it's because we do movies that we love or we love. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, if <laughs> we're, I we're biased. Movie, yeah. If I fucking went less than four tacos, I would regret it, right? Like in the rest of the movies, I'd be like, nah, I can't get that movie four tacos. I mean, I didn't give up and smoke. Well, so we, I got to say, I watch up and smoke at least maybe once, twice a year. It, or yeah. If it's on, I'll catch it too. Hell yeah. Yeah. I don't think we're going to get anything below four tacos until we start getting back into the watch box and people's suggestions. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're gonna be, yeah, Chuck, your movie got zero fucking chalupas. <laughs> I'm going to give this four Led Zeppelin tacos. No, quarter quarter pounders. Zeppelin. <laughs> <laughs> four four <Ooh>. Labradors. <laughs> it's like, what's Labrador? Like... <laughs> Yeah, my dog ate my weed. <laughs> I had to follow the little fucker around for a week with a baggie. <laughs> uh, that's some funny shit. Literally. <laughs> He's like, you mean we're smoking dog shit, man? Fuck. <laughs> uh, uh, right, what did, like... That that movie fucking that that movie again. That's one of those ones that'll stick with you fucking forever because you could watch it right, and then you could sit down with like your dad or your uncles and shit like that, and your mom. Yeah, y'all could all fucking watch it. You know, like you can sit down with your family and watch it, and it's not <laughs> like that fucked up. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
It's one of those movies that I, I could just have on in the background. Like, I'm not even watching the movie, but I'm still saying yeah. the lines, you know, as it's coming on. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. And you pick it up at any time in the movie and just fucking finish it. You know what I mean? Yep. yep. Uh, what's next for us, man? I don't know, man, but I'll tell you one thing is I like, you know, that we, we put in a couple of weeks in a row and yeah. trying to do we're, stuff. You we're know back I mean? into it. We're back into it. Um, again, you know my stupid ass, and, and I'm going to push fucking, let's start getting scary. But, you know me, I want to do fucking, I want to do anything you want to do. Like, is there anything out there, like, Maybe even something new that you've seen that you want to share because I've caught up on some shit. What if um, we do? I I saw I saw Love and Thunder. What if we do a brand new movie? Okay, just came out today. It's it's not well, it's not horror, but uh, it's slightly in that genre, I guess. The new nope. pred the new Predator movie. Ooh. Called I'm Prey. fucking totally down. Have you seen the fucking trailer for that? Yeah, it, I think it came out, came out today on Disney Plus. Okay. What do you think? I think it might be on Hulu. No, I'm totally fucking down for that. Have you seen? I saw the trailer today, and it's like um, his first time on land, and it's the the predator's first time here. So I'm fucking totally down for that. Yeah, because it's I think it's like the was it like the seven hundreds or whatever. It's yeah. like it's supposed to be like primitive and yeah, the chick uh, looks Indian and shit like that. Yeah, I don't know if it's like Aztecs or um, what do they call them? I don't know. They look Latino. Yeah, <laughs> keeping with yeah. the theme. But uh, what do you think? I'm fucking totally down for that, man. I, I was gonna tell you. I was gonna. I was. I. I man, I want to say I was gonna send you the trailer today. Oh, pray. Yeah. Nice. I, I fucking it looked badass. Yes, sir. So, you want to get into that next week? Yes, sir. Let's 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 make it happen. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! I got. I'll have to get my predator notes in. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I've seen all all of them, but uh, this one definitely looks interesting. Nah, we'll we'll get into it. We'll get into it next week, definitely. Yes, sir. Could, what if we try to? Watch it tonight? I'll probably watch it tonight. What if we try bringing on a guest? I don't know. I'm down if you're down. Um, you know the boys are always down. Like I can I can talk to them. Oh. I know when that first picture dropped. Um, Adam either shared it or he sent it to me. And I was like, oh, that looks fucking badass. Because I thought it was going to be, I thought it was going to be something like new IP. Yeah. I didn't know it was going to be part of, you know, Alien vs. Predator or whatever like that. Like, I like that shit. Like, um, I wish I would have got more into some of those movies. But but I like that whole fucking, the whole thought of that, that fucking uh, Predator that comes to town and fucking, he, he's looking for like, he's fighting the, the alpha males and shit like that. He's just looking for someone uh, worthy enough to fight. Um, have you ever seen any of this shit? And like, maybe we get into it for next week. But the um, Batman versus Predator. I haven't. I haven't. No, it's like a fan made thing. <laughs> well, there's a comic, isn't gonna, there? Isn't there an actual comic? Yeah. I'm a, hey, I'm gonna let you in on a little fucking secret. Uh, that the just another Friday night boys might not like, but. Batman wins again. <laughs> uh, of course, because all of his superpowers. Uh, yes. Mon- money. <laughs> yeah, fucking, uh, you know. All Batman needs is time to think about a plan, and then he's got you. Like, you know. Yeah, of course. Okay. Um, Batman. Yeah, because Batman, that's why. Yeah, especially Bill Batman. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, man. If your boys want to join in, let's do it. Let's make something happen. So, listeners um, out there, before we get off, oh, go ahead. Uh, 
Have you heard about like okay, they canceled Batgirl? Like, what do you think about oh, that shit? Yeah, we should talk about that. That's because uh, Warner Brothers has new owners. Yeah, uh, it's now Warner Brothers Discovery. That's an original name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, at least they kept Warner Brothers first, I guess. But uh, those who don't know, Discovery and Warner Brothers are a thing now together. And Warner Brothers is cleaning house. They said we're not going to put out no shit movies. <laughs> and, and to my understanding, I think this movie was like almost done. Yeah. And they said, you know what? We're going to eat this 90 million or whatever it was to they made to make this movie. Yeah, we're just gonna, it's a fucking 90 million loss. We're going to just take a ass and we're not putting out this garbage. Which I'm a little bummed out for because I wanted to see Michael Keaton. Um, yeah. But... I'm all for not putting out a trash movie. Yeah. I would hate for, you know, I'm a big Michael Keaton fan. I don't want that image tarnished by a crap movie. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you, man. And then there, there's a part of me that, that feels like you. And then I don't want to see, like, oh, fucking release the fucking, the what you call it, Release the footage, but there's fucking people talking about like they did it as a tax write off. There's other people talking about like, um, I mean, it fucks with the lead actress for one. But but my biggest thing too was like I was happy for Michael Keaton, but Brendan Fraser was coming back on this movie, and he was supposed to be the main villain working this. So I'm mm. fucking sad that he's not getting his fucking rub or his shine because that motherfucker deserves no. it. Um, uh, Brendan Fraser's getting so much love lately, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though he's, I've seen he's that all, online. even though he's all Gordon now, but he's still getting <laughs> love. <laughs> the the fucking um, did you ever watch Scrubs? No, but you know I kind of oh. want to get into it. It's fucking good, bro. I was thinking about it like a show just to start because, like, my wife and my daughter they've been like doing that lately, like yeah. My daughter, like, watched all the Friends seasons. You know what I mean? Like, all ten seasons. Have, and they, went, they watched Scrubs? No. But, like, they've they just been watching, like, older shows. Like, um, my daughter, she went and watched um, all the Gilmore Girls. <laughs> um, what else? A bunch of, like, New Girl with Zoe mm-hmm. Deschanel, whatever her name is. I, so, I was like, I kind of want to do that. Just pick an old show that's already over. And, like, just go and start watching it. Dude, I fucking highly recommend it, man. Like, that's fucking, that's my jam. It's one of those shows I could put on in the background and just fucking, as I fall asleep, you know, just let it play. Might happen. Not Seinfeld, though. <laughs> Dude, and, <laughs> oh, that's what Chuck and the boys are doing. They're doing uh, yeah. Seinfeld tonight. So, um, but fucking... Um, Scrubs, man, like, uh, they have a podcast now. So the main, the main two, uh, Zach, um, Braff, or? Can, yeah, Zach Braff, uh, Zach Braff and, um, and, uh, what you call it? Donald Faison, no, 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 uh, no. yeah, Donald Faison. That's not, that's not him. <laughs> that's a different, that's, um. No, that's, I think they're both named Donald Faison. That's Big Worm, isn't it? No, 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 no. His name is Faison Love or something oh, like that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Donald Faison, um, they do a podcast together um, called Fake Doctors, Real Friends. Because they're like best friends now. And it comes with, like, they became best friends on the show, and it comes through on the show. So they do a podcast now with, and sometimes the, um, uh, the director comes on. Like, the director is the Ted Lasso director, mm. the showrunner. So, you'll like I think that's, like, a thing now. The actors coming back and doing a podcast yeah. and all the episodes. I saw recently that the cast of Boy Meets World started doing a podcast. Oh, you would watch that, wouldn't you? <laughs> that was my Good jam. Lord, that was my jam. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tell I me, never got into that tell me, show. tell me, tell me you did not love Topanga. Every guy loved 
Topanga. That's not the point. <laughs> I didn't like the fucking show, man. Uh, the fucking uh, curly dude. I was more in the weirdest was to jam. You broke up a little bit. Oh, um, Fred Savage. His brother is the lead in fucking the one in in uh, Boy Meets World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the Wonder Years more than Boy Meets World. Mm. And then his friend was all pussy too, right? The guy with the wavy hair. Yeah, he was supposed to be the hard one, but uh, yeah, yeah, he was the all only, sensitive and stuff. <laughs> the only cool guy was the teacher. With the mullet, or no, the old man? Man, Mister Feeney. Yeah, Mister Feeney. That's another oh, look thing. Look at me, I fucking know the show. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Screw yeah, my bad. Did you pick up a fucking a motorcycle passing by? That's fine. It's part of our show. Yeah. We're, we're, we're as real as you get on this show. Bro, but do I sound you better get... this week? Because I was fucking real fucking anxiety about it. Like the first episode... And then the second episode came out. I thought I, I did, thought I did sound better, but like I was real worried about it. So fucking, like, you know, oh. we may have used company time to get it, but you know, no, you're good, it. you're good. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was just like real echo, echoey, like you were across the room. <laughs> oh, am I right now? No, no, no. I'm saying the other oh, ones before. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, Scrubs. We, we just got to try to get back together in the same place. Yeah, you, you're, dude. I, I I would totally fucking watch some Scrubs with you. Cause you're a little robotic today, but um, we're good. Don't worry about it. Uh, dude, that's my fucking shitty internet connection, bro. Sorry. We're good. Scrubs, yeah. Scrubs, and then next we're gonna do pray. At least that's the plan for now. Yeah. I say we uh, close this one out and get ready to watch Hell another yeah. movie. <laughs> Dude, I'm probably going to go watch Prey right now. I think that's the plan for me, too. Or I might watch Lightyear. Lightyear came out on Disney+. Plus. No, uh, but I, my yeah. son, I know my youngest wants to watch that. So. Well, I'll see if my daughter's up. I'm probably watching that, too. <laughs> uh, all right. So look out for Prey next week. And... I guess keep watching and keep listening. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Hey, life's a risk, carnal. Tell me something, my friend. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? I do a great impression of a hot dog. Billy likes to drink soda. So am I to understand that you men completed your training on your own? That's the fact, Jack! Come on, seriously, who is that? I only came here to do two things, man. Kick some ass and drink some beer. (laughs) It's like we're almost out of beer. All right. So what's what's up? up? What's up? What's up? Dude, okay. So fucking our boy Chucky, he told me they're doing Seinfeld today. I was like, Mm -hmm. dude, like, I'd love to get on that. Like, you doing Seinfeld? That's all you. He's like, yeah. And he's like, can can you come? And I was like, well, let me know if you're gonna do it. And then he said, oh well, we didn't know there'd be so much interest, and so I don't know if we're gonna still do it after all. We kind of want to set something up. So I was like, oh, all right, that's cool. I said, either word, you know, like, uh, y'all go on, I'll jump on or whatever. And then he's like, and then he texts me right now, six thirty. He goes, hey, so you're good to come over? I was like, bro, like I showed him the picture, like. I'm setting up to fucking record right now with luck. Uh, yeah, that's all you, man. I don't like Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Yeah, yeah, no. Oh, I was going to tell him, like, fucking hit me and look up. We'll jump on real quick. Uh, we could. <laughs> could. You could hijack their show. <laughs> Have they started? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm excited about what we're going to fucking do. Oh, yeah. Bro. Uh, I mean, 
I got two snacks for the for the show. Good. I got my beer ski. Right. I got some Chick Fil A tea. Right. Oh, go ahead, look. Don't go too hard on that. Uh, I'm getting a little crazy. Um. Yeah, man, I was kind of excited about this one just because. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> this is one of one of my favorite movies, I think. Dude, like all time. And um I don't know, if you're recording now we can get into it. Or you wanna start the show and we'll get into it. Let's but just, we can start the show. Stories. All right. You got some gems? Yeah, you know, gems, I don't know. But you know what, man, not for nothing, but I know like we talked a lot about on our last show. And then we, you said, like, you know, I don't think we talked enough about the movie. I, I, I like, listening back to it, I thought we were, Did we we? were pretty good with the movie. Yeah. All right. We got off a little bit, or a lot, but good stuff. Like, I was, uh, I really, I really liked the show last week. I was, uh, I messed up when we did uh, the first one, the catch-up episode, because um, uh-huh. when we're talking about the boys... I said uh, Homelander was Randy Quaid's son. It's actually the guy that uh, Huey, the character Huey. That's oh, okay. that's Dennis Quaid's son. I fucked up. I'm surprised <laughs> Chuck didn't call me out on it. Yeah. Well, he's not that big a fan. Double A would have if he if he heard. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Um. Yeah. Let me get my notebook real quick. But right. uh, if you're ready, hit the intro. Hit the intro. All right. I'll hit the intro while well, you get it. Uh, I, I want to say that's probably one of our favorite movies that we've fucking done. Oh yes, yes, <laughs> it's one of my all-time favorites, for sure. Bro, we should totally fucking crash. I wonder if they can we take should, us on. Like, fucking text them. Let's see, they're still on. Yeah. Yeah, they're on. <laughs> 